Hello and welcome back. I hope you're having a great week. Today we're going to be working on a lamp post. So go ahead, grab your pencils, grab your paper, and let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is draw two long vertical lines to make up the main portion of the lamp post, not counting the top and bottom. And this will help you kind of set the height for your drawing. All right, then working at the top, we're going to give it kind of a little bit of a bulb at the bottom shape, so a little bit of a U right here. And then above that, we'll put two reference dots, one on each side, and another one just a little below. And these will form the base of our light bulb bottom, if you can connect those lines. Finish up that bulb there where it connects. And then we'll go ahead and, and when I say bulb, I don't mean a, the light bulb, but the, uh, the shape, the round shape underneath. So we'll go up from our three points and we'll sort of taper out a little bit. Give it that look so it's not perfectly... rectangular, but flares at the top. Okay, we'll want to bring those up a little bit higher than the, the middle portion. And then you're going to, from this middle section, we're going to go ahead and draw out some further lines just a little bit beyond where we ended here. So now we're going to draw the cap of the lamp post. And this is not going to be a perfect shape as though it were a square. A flat square would have a much lower profile. We're going to make this taper up a little bit. So go ahead and aim this up somewhat. And up from the middle. And then on the top, we'll give it this little sort of U shape. And we'll end in a, a nice little knob right there. Okay, then we're going to want to hollow out the windows. Not mine there, I'm just going to taper that out a little further. I want it to go beyond the edge. There. Okay, so we've got the windows of our lamppost. And we're going to want to give it an arm because that adds a little visual interest. So right here, we're going to have an arm coming down from the lamppost this direction. ending in a little circle to give it the, or rather we'll have it end in a, there, there we go, a bulb would be a better finishing look. And we'll have that same rounded shape here where it meets the body of the lamp post. Now we could just leave it like that and go ahead and draw some icicles hanging off of it or something like that, but it's a little more fun to give it some decorative element. So we're going to basically create a swirl, a curly cue right here. 
And you can make this as simple or as complicated as you want. Just have it sort of pop in there. Now to give it the 3D effect, we're going to want to do some parallel lines. Every time I drop slow, draw slowly, Photoshop tries to open my brushes window. So if you draw parallel there, you get a little bit of a 3D look. And the difference is that you want to, when you do a shape like this, for example, you want to make sure you're not drawing it all the way around like that or you'll end up with a different effect. You want to make sure that you are choosing a side. So in this case, we're working over here to the left and drawing that parallel shape, whereas there's nothing really up here. We're coming down again and again up here, keeping these lines parallel and then just connecting anything that needs it. And then moving down the lamppost, we're going to want to give it a base. So let's finish that off at the bottom. And then we're going to draw a foreshortened circle. So that's an oval that'll be surrounding it. Here, just a narrow one. And coming down from each edge, we'll do two more lines. And these can flare a little bit. Finish the bottom of that one off. And we're going to do, just do the same thing again. We're going to do another foreshortened circle coming around. And foreshortened means that the circle looks flattened. It looks, uh, it's not appearing to the user, uh, the user, the, <laughs> the viewer, as though it were a flat circle that they're looking at head on. It's going to look like a circle that you see if you are the person standing in front of it, for example, if you were standing or sitting at a dinner table or holding a giant piece of pizza. I like that idea. We should have a giant, a giant piece of pizza here. Excellent. So we will go on and bring this down a little further on each side. And then you're going to want to go ahead and give that a uh, little bit of a base in the snow where it's tucked in. So tuck a little bit of a snow drift around the base and make sure that it's sort of buried in there. And if you want to have a further background here, you can add some more snow drifts. These can be kind of any shape you want. And you come over here, we'll add the icicles. All right, let's see. Uh, so we're going to decide where is our light coming from. And I'm going to choose an area up here to be our sun, if we uh, have a sun that's not obscured by clouds. And so we're going to cast our shadows then down on the left side because the sun is up to our right. So we'll go ahead and add some cross hatching on the left side of our lamppost. Or scribbles. Any kind of shading you like. Just a little bit on the top because it'll be catching most of the sunlight.
right, don't forget the bottom of your arm here should have a little bit of a shadow going on. And you'll want to do a heavier shadow right under the hat because that's going to be casting a hard shadow at the very edge there. Now let's not forget that the lamp post is going to have a shadow of its own. I'm running out of room, but you will want perhaps to extend it further out. Uh, so my shadow will look something like this as the sun falls on it. And if I didn't run out of room, of course, it would uh, expand to a larger shape as we were able to see the shadow of the top. We would also have some shadows right here on the lip. And I'm just going to harden up this edge a little bit to give it a little more drama. And then we go ahead and uh, let's say this lamppost has a flame inside it. We'll go ahead and draw a flame. And then let's give the snow a little bit of texture of its own. You can do some stippling, which this program does not much care for. So we're going to get rid of mine. Stippling is when you create small dots with your pencil by dabbing it up and down. And so I will have to move more slowly and they are a little bit hard to see. Since that's not working very well, I'm going to try a different approach. Here, we'll give this snowdrift here just a little bit of a shadow. All right, I think that's about done it. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and I hope to see you again next time. I don't know what we'll be drawing next time, but I'm looking forward to coming up with something. If you have uh, followed us along on this lesson, then please go ahead and go on over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash the lion's call and share with us uh, in the comments section something that you have uh, drawn. We would love to see your lamp posts and I look forward to seeing you again next time.